नमस्ते माय स्टूडेंट टुडे इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम टाइप्स ऑफ ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम आल्सो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस द क्वेश्चन आंसर एंड द एमसीक्यू क्वेश्चंस लेट अस सी व्हाट इज एन ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम एन ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम इज अ सिस्टम सॉफ्टवेयर दैट एक्ट एज एन इंटरफेस बिटवीन द यूजर एंड द हार्डवेयर इट इज रिक्वायर्ड टू स्टार्ट एंड शट डाउन द कंप्यूटर it controls the various component of the computer system and also helps in sharing the resources an operating system occupies the prime position between the hardware and the user the user interacts with the system through an operating system so let me tell you operating system is a system software we have learned about system software and application software hardware and software are both necessary to complete a computer system so to run the computer system operating system is necessary it act as an interface that is a bridge between the user and the hardware how i am going to access the computer computer hardware part is there but how it is going to work that is being operated by the operating system it is a very important position between the hardware and the user we interact or we do our work in a computer using this operating system if the operating system is not there the computer is, will be a blank box we cannot run any software so operating system is very much necessary to run the computer function of an operating system first program execution what uh, what is the operating system do in a program execution the operating system receive the commands and it interprets that what the user wants after receiving the command it understand what the user want and accordingly then it executes the command so first foremost important part of the operating system is the program execution okay like if i want to write edit any uh, word document then whatever i am doing the operating system will first of all understand the command okay yeah, yeah the operating system allows us to give the input through the input device after getting the uh, input it will understand that what we want to do and accordingly it will execute the command next is the device management it operates and it controls the working of all the input and the output devices okay so using this operating system only the input and the output devices works smoothly then file management it helps you to organize all data in file and folder and allocates space for files on secondary storage devices as and when required that means when we are doing any work when we are working on a data in a file and folder the operating system it allocates the space for the file if we are saving any work or whatever work we are doing it store the file in the hard disk it keep the track of the location of the file in the hard disk so the operating system is very necessary to process our work memory management memory is the major part of the computer system and dictates the speed of the operation the main memory is thus managed by the operating system ensuring the efficient functioning of your computer system so main memory is what it is the primary memory right the primary memory is run by the operating system okay it controls it controls the primary memory over there whatever the work is done whatever the execution is done is done using this operating system next types of operating system there are two types of operating system first is the character user interface this type of operating system requires the user to interact with the system by typing commands unix and dos are the cui operating system that means uh, uh, character user interface what it does to do any work you have to type a command you have to remember the command type a command then only it will execute whereas in a graphical in user interface what we can do the user can use a mouse to interact with the system by just clicking 
If you have a touch screen computer, you can use a touch gesture to interact with the system. And the examples are Windows and Linux. So we are using an in Windows, right? So we can see using a mouse only, we can click on any one of the application and we can do our work. But in the character user interface software, we have to remember the command. Type the command, then only it will execute the command. Okay. So, graphical user interface is much more user friendly compared to the character user interface. And nowadays, we are using this graphical user interface that is a GUI computers. Okay. The GUI operating system in a computer. Next. You next see over here, this is the example of character user interface. You can see all these are the commands. Okay, each and everything, whatever you want to run, you have to type the command, then only it will execute. Next is the window. You can see over here, it is much more user friendly. We can click on any one of the application and we can run it, right? So, this had gone about the operating system and the types of operating system. With this, our chapter 1 is completed. Now let us discuss the question answer. This is the question that I gave you in my previous video. Right? So let us discuss it. What is network? A network is a group of devices connected to one another and allow exchange of data with each other. What is a computer network? It is a collection of computer and peripheral devices connected by communication links. What is a file server? File server is a computer server we can tell, right? From where the, uh, it distributes the application program and data to the workstation. And what is a workstation? The computer that you are working, okay? If your computer is connected to a network, then your computer is a workstation, okay? And file, service, file server is what? It is a computer server which... Uh, which gives the, which shares the data and the other application program with all the other workstation. Name largest computer network, internet. What is a node? A node is a computer or any other device or network that communicates with other devices. What is the topology? The way in which the node of a network are linked together is called topology. Next. You will write down any three benefits of network. I have given here three. You can also refer to the books. There are many benefits are there. You can write any three benefits. Next, differentiate between LAN and WAN. I have given here three differences. If you can find more differences, you can write it down. See, according to the geographical area, what is the difference? Wide area network covers the large geographical areas such as city, country or world. Whereas LAN, it covers the limited geographical areas such as home, school computer lab and office building. Then, difference in respect of the cost. The cost of data transmission in the WAN is very high because we are using the telephone lines or the satellite link. Whereas for the LAN, it is very less because it is within a close proximity area and it is uh, owned by a single organization okay a speed it is very low the speed of a data is lower than the LAN okay the speed of data in the WAN is much lower than the LAN because as it is connecting a very large geographical area so the data transmission is little bit lower than the LAN next is the uh, LAN over here, the speed of data transmission is much higher in LAN than in WAN because in the LAN all the computers are in a very close area. So, the data transmission is much higher. Let us see the next one. You will write down the short notes on hardware part required to establish computer network. See over here, write down all the four parts that are required. Now, you will write about the major function of operating system. Just now we have learned program execution, device management, file management, memory management. Now, you will write advantage and disadvantage of all the topologies. See, I have given over here start topology, advantage and disadvantage, ring topology. This we have already explained. I have already explained in my previous video. Okay. 
you can also refer the previous video for the advantage and disadvantage and you can also write it down from here Next verse, topology, mesh topology. All the advantage and disadvantage of all the four topology I have explained in my previous video. You can take the help of that video also or you can write down this also. Next, now full form. Okay, first what it is NIC network interface card. Second, PAN that is a personal area network. Third, LAN local area network. Wide area network, MAN metropolitan area network, HTTP hypertext transfer protocol, TCP IP. TCP is transmission control protocol and IP is the internet protocol. Wi-Fi, wireless fidelity. Now let us discuss the MCQ. This MCQ is already there in your book. You will write down all the MCQ one by one. Okay. You will write in a sequential manner. The world largest computer network is, we have already learned in the question answer what it is, internet. A dash is a computer on the network, workstation, right? Workstation is a computer on the network. Computer on the network is referred as a workstation. And the computer server is known, also known as the file server. Now the next, the wires that connect computer and resources on the network are, the cables okay NIC stand for network interface card the dash spreads throughout the country or even around the world that is WAN next multiple choice question interconnection of various devices is called networking peripheral devices connected to the networks are resources not a workstation workstations are the computer peripheral devices are like the printer we have learned no in our first and the second video so what is the peripheral devices i have just now told you example that is a printer right so it is referred as a resources in the network which of the following is the most expensive network topology mesh topology now see application based question i have given you these three application based question you will go through this application based question and you will write the answer of your own i will check the answer when the school will reopen you will go through it it's very easy just if you have gone through the chapter it will be very easy to do these three questions go through it and write it down by your own so this is the end of the video with this the chapter one is completed Student, please write down all this thing in your computer copy and keep your copy up to date. Thank you. Namaskar.